Hi you guys, it's your favorite pretty girl, pretty girl peeps. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys a routine I tried. This is me putting a Clinique Moisture Surge all over my face except my eyes because I'm going to be going back in with the eye cream also from Clinique. This is the all about the eyes eye cream and I'm just going to be lightly putting that under my eyes just to give my under eyes some much needed hydration before we apply any product underneath. So then I'm also going to put some Vaseline, speaking of hydration, all over my lips just to give my lips some hydration as well. And then what I'm going to do is just use my portable fan and I will have a link to that in my bio. Use my portable fan to just dry down that skin just a little bit. And that's what you see me doing right here. And you just want to get the skin nice and as dry as you can. Then I'm going to go in with my primer. My primer of choice is going to be the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So that's what you're going to see me go in with right here. And I'm just lightly going to apply that all over my face just to give myself a nice base for my makeup to adhere to. And then I'm going right back in with that fan. As you guys can see, this fan is getting its usage today. I need to charge it up before the Beyonce concert, y'all. But that's another thing. So... I just like to really get it tacky, really, really get it tacky. So you'll see me using that fan like for quite some time to make sure I am good. Then what I like to do is go in with my foundation. So this is the highlight. I'm trying a new foundation for the first time in like maybe four or five years. And this is the NARS um, Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Macchio, Mako, Macchio, M-A-C-A-O, Macau. That's what it is in Macau. So I'm just going to lightly apply that with my damp beauty blender. And then you're just going to see me kind of put that all over the skin and just going to actually just start patting it into the skin. So we don't want it to sit on top of the skin. We want to pat it into the skin. And I was really impressed with this foundation. I had tried like a mini before, but I hadn't tried this color. I tried a lighter color and I think that's why I didn't like it. But this color, I feel like it's almost a perfect match with my summer color. So I really do like it. Then I'm just going to take the uh, Milk Hydro Grip Setting and Refresh Spray um, just to kind of lighten that up just a little bit as far as like moisture. Then I'm also going to take that fan again and just dry that layer down. Then I'm going to go in with concealer. I am using the shade Cookie from the Too Faced brand. And I'm just going to apply this into all the areas I want to bring a little bit of light into. So that's what you'll see me doing right here. It's just using this color to just give me that nice um, bright under eye. And then I'm just going to kind of accelerate the drying down process of this with my fan and then what i'm going to do is wet my brush um this is a real techniques brush and i wet that with the milk hydro grip and this is just going to help me spread that product a little bit more evenly which is what you'll see me doing here then i'm going to go into the under eyes last because i want to give that the most time to dry and as you can see i'm kind of more so patting it versus like spreading it if that makes sense so i'm like patting it into the skin so that it gives a more skin like makeup finish and then what you'll see me do is i am just simply going to take my beauty blender and more so around the edges and like the outer perimeters really blend that into the skin to give it like i said a skin like finish and then what i'm going to do this is another new product i'm trying this is the huda beauty um easy bake and banana bread and I'm just going to go ahead and open this. And instead of using the puff, I'm going to use my little Amazon puffs. I'll also have a link to that in the bio. Well, not in the bio, in the description. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm just going to lightly press the excess off. And I like this powder because it goes on very, very smooth um, and very creaseless, as you'll see here. So I'm just really applying that powder in all of the areas where I had applied the concealer. And as you can see, it's just a really smooth finish. So that's what you'll see me doing right here. And so then what I'm going to do is just take my powder brush and lightly dust off any little bit of excess powder that might be there. And because I have drier skin, I don't necessarily bake. Then what I did was I went in with the Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Finish Powder. And I just applied that like you'll see me doing here just to kind of further set everything. Just to give you that really airbrush finish. And then what I did was I took the um, Juvia's Place and I contoured. And then lastly, I set with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, blended that in with my sponge. And then what I did was kind of fan that down for a little bit just to dry that base out just a little bit before I apply my next layer. And my next layer is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just going to drench my face in that. 
And then what I'm going to do is take one more layer because I didn't feel like my face was wet enough. And then I used my, my um, powder, um, my fan and sponge. And there we go. This is the finished look.